get Josh Boy Ross back at it again with another video. So I've been thinking about this topic ever since Cody returned to WWE. This topic has been on my mind. If you guys have seen his uh, recent promos on Monday Night Raw on why he's returned, he's made it very clear that he's going for the WWE Universal Undisputed Universal Championship. Um, at first, it was just for the WWE title, but uh, this previous week on Monday Night Raw on a segment with The Miz, he added it wasn't just for the WWE title. It was for the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship. So for both the belts right now, I'm not sure if they're going to actually unify the belts at some point. It'd be interesting if they do. I just don't see it happening only because of the networks of USA and Fox wanting to keep the titles somewhat still kind of separate. I'm not sure how they're going to plan this out. They should have definitely thought this out. Hopefully they have a plan for what they're going to do with the titles. Are they going to combine them legitimately or are they going to have someone hold both of them but not combine them and then Roman will be able to drop one of them at some point? I'm not sure. But I think a lot of people are seeing the writings on the wall. And to be honest with you, the writing is, is quite simple. Who should Roman lose to this year? It should be Cody. Now, I know some of you guys are going to say, oh, why should it be Cody? Why should Cody be the one? Uh, aren't you the one that's always saying it should be someone, an up-and-coming talent? Cody's not an up-and-coming talent. This is correct. I would have preferred it to have been uh, some other people, in my opinion. Um, one of the people I would have preferred it to have been is uh, Walter. I'm still not calling him Gunther, Gunther or whatever you want to, however you pronounce it. But I, I would have liked it to have been him. I don't think it's going to be him. Even though he's made his debut, it's not going to be him. It's not. Would it have been cool? Yeah, maybe so. But it's not going to be him. It's not going to be a heel versus a heel. It's not going to work. So it's not going to be him. Um, it's not going to be Drew. It's not going to be Bobby. It's not going to be anybody right now that Roman hasn't faced yet. It's, it's not going to happen. No matter how much some of us may want it to happen, it's not. It, the story doesn't even make sense for any of these other individuals to be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns. The only person it makes sense for that to happen with is Cody right now. From the story that they're telling right now, I think... Sometime, I want to say SummerSlam may be the moment where they pull the trigger. Uh, I think Roman Reigns' title, the beginning of it was definitely fresh and something fantastic for a lot of us because we finally got to see the heel Roman persona. And then, of course, people started to uh, waver from his championship uh, reign, saying it's been boring. Have it been boring and predictable at times? Yes, but I've been enjoying it thoroughly. This is probably one of the better title reigns we've had in quite some time. And something that honestly will be remembered. The, the tribal chief era of wrestling, you know, it, it will be remembered. Some may enjoy it, some may not. But at the end of the day, this has been monumental in a sense of what they've been trying to tell with this whole tribal chief storyline. And bringing Cody back in the promos that he's been delivering, it just makes sense for him to be the one to beat Roman Reigns. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not sure what they're going to do with the titles. I do think they're going to keep two separate titles. And I do think it's going to be a situation where maybe um, Roman Reigns will defend the WWE Championship. And I can see Cody Rose winning the WWE Championship. I can see that happening. Would I prefer it to be just one title and they unify it? Yes. And maybe down the road they actually do it. But at the end of the day, I do think they're going to probably it's going to be a situation where he'll just be the he'll put the WWE championship on the line. And granted, Cody has said he wanted to go for the WWE championship for his father. And I've been telling people this. You don't bring Cody back to have him win the Intercontinental Championship or the United States Championship. You don't have him come back for that. You have him come back for one reason, one reason only the WWE Championship. The championship he never got to show his father while he was alive. That's That honestly is 
what he said in his promo on Monday Night Raw and why he came back the very first night after WrestleMania, that was true. You know what I'm saying? That that wasn't, I don't think that's a storyline thing. It fits the storyline narrative, but I do believe that's probably one of the agreements. He wanted to be able to do that for his father. He wanted to be able to win the championship. There's no point in coming back to just be a mid-card champion. The same thing with Drew. When Drew came back, he was the NXT champion, came to the main roster. It took some time, but he finally became the guy that people wanted to see as the top champion. It just was unfortunate timing because of the pandemic. So I, I do think it's going to happen. I do think that Roman will. Most likely, I'm thinking that SummerSlam because that's the next biggest pay-per-view. That, that will be a main event that's going to hype everybody up. I think he will lose to Cody Rhodes. And I think he'll probably just drop the WWE Championship. That's if they don't actually unify them. If they don't unify the titles, then yes, he'll drop the WWE Championship. If they do unify it, now that's going to be interesting. That I'm not even going to... That's going to be super interesting. I... I, it's it, it makes more sense for them to still have two separate titles because of the networks and you know how they how they want the shows to be kind of ran and they want it to be separate so I understand that but at the same time if they do unify it then it, it does it does switch up things but as it stands right now don't think they're gonna unify it and I think Roman will drop it I think he will drop the title uh at uh the WWE championship to Cody Rose and it's about that time it's about that time for Roman to take his first loss and first title loss does it still make Roman still look strong and credible yes it does because he'll still be holding the universal championship and at that point I don't know who you have take the universal championship off him I don't know at that point. That's where WWE has to come into place and make sure they're bu building somebody up on SmackDown to be able to take the WWE Championship away from Roman Reigns. And I think what would be a great way to set this up is, of course, the Usos. They unify the tag team division. Cool, cool, cool. Whatever. They have the straps. I think it should be piece by piece. I think... It should be one of those situations where the, the 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 bloodline starts to show its cracks in the foundation bit by bit to the point where everyone has lost their championships except Roman. Roman is the last person to still have a championship, which, which will obviously be the Universal Championship. And I don't know who you have take the Universal title from him. I don't know. The only thing I could possibly think of, it would have to be like some type of interference from The Rock himself, which would cause him to lose the title. That's the only thing I can think of. And even then, whoever still wins the belt, the Universal Championship from him, it has to make sense. And I just don't see nobody right now on SmackDown that makes sense to take the title away from him unless... Once again, it just depends on if they're able to get, like, The Rock. That's the only way I see this happening. Like, The Rock interfering, causing him to, use to lose the Universal Championship. And I do think it needs to happen at some point before next year's WrestleMania. So, I don't know. But on the, at least the WWE Championship side of things, Cody should be the guy. I know some of you guys may disagree. I know some of you guys may want it to be somebody else. But right now, realistically... There's nobody on that roster that is going to make sense. Cody is fresh, and if they continue to book him and book him correctly and book him as a legitimate threat to Roman Reigns' title, that's the only way this works. If they mess up the booking of Cody from now to SummerSlam, when I'm sure that's probably when they'll, when they'll cross paths, then this doesn't work. It doesn't. So I can only keep my fingers crossed, but once again, we're dealing with WWE here. So you got to take that with a grain of salt. So that's just my personal opinion on it. I do think Cody Rose will be the guy to finally beat Roman and take a championship from him, which will probably be the WWE championship. And I think it will be a very great moment. And I don't think people will complain. I don't. I think, it, I think people will enjoy it for what it is. You know what I'm saying? So. 
I, I want to pose this question to you guys because this has been a very big topic. I've been seeing other YouTubers talk about this. Who should be the one to dethrone Roman this year? What do you guys think? Do you guys think Cody should be the guy to at least take the WWE Championship from Roman Reigns? And do you think it should happen at SummerSlam? Or do you think it should be somebody else? Do you think there's somebody else on the roster, in your opinion, that you feel is viable enough to take the WWE Championship from Roman this year, potentially at SummerSlam? Or, or here's, a, here's another question for you guys. Who do you guys think should be able to take the Universal Championship for a moment? Do you think it should be Cody as well? Do you think it should be somebody else? And all of this I'm just putting at SummerSlam because I just think if you're going to have Roman lose, it got to be at SummerSlam because it only makes sense. That's really when the his role persona took, took form, like took its, you know, begin. It began at SummerSlam a few years ago. So it only makes sense for him to lose his very first match and lose a title like that at SummerSlam. You know what I'm saying? Well, technically, it wouldn't be his first match, but I'm talking about an actual pinfall. It would make sense for him to take an actual pinfall at this year's SummerSlam. So that's the only reason why I'm booking it like that in my heart, in my mind. So let me know who you guys should think, who y'all think will beat him for the Universal Championship, who y'all think will beat him for the WWE Championship. And let me know, man. Let's have a discussion. This has been kind of just going crazy this week uh on youtube as uh as some type of topic and i definitely wanted to make my own personal video about it but i appreciate all the love and support bro to 80k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one